guys, we're going to take a look at another Gonzo knife, the Firebird brand of knives. They sent me a handful of knives so far. This is a great, great little budget Warren Cliff. So let's turn this around and take a look at this thing from above. All right, guys, we're going to take another look at a very good budget knife coming out of Firebird or Gonzo. So Gonzo is making the Firebird brand of knives. This is the F, just listen to that snap open, FH. 3-1-B. Now this comes in a couple different variations. There's some different handle colors, some blade colors. This is the one they sent me. And full disclosure, they did send this to me. However, it wasn't handpicked. They sent it to me directly from their distributor. So it wasn't like something that was handpicked. So this is a that snap just gets me. The action on this is so good. So you're looking at a really done Warren Cliff blade in D2. Uh, G10 handles, G10 backspacer. Let's get some specs out of the way because this is a really cool little knife coming in under $50. So you're looking at a 3.39 inch D2 blade running on bearings, 7.8 inch overall, done in a Warren Cliff fashion. And you're coming in just at about four. 0.7 ounces on this so it's not super light but it does feel good because the weight distribution is just pretty even across the board so let's do some quick size comparisons so you can see that just because it's what's in my pocket at the moment is my grimsmo norseman so you can see a good bit bigger i just i had that in my pocket and i thought i'd throw it in because you guys haven't seen it for a while next knife is Benchmade 940, a, a better known knife. You'll have a better reference here. You can see it's a little bit bigger than the 940. And then your final knife, as always, is, of course, the Chris Reese Sabenza Large 21. You can see it, they're not too far off when you line them up perfectly. They're not too far off in length. So let's get this out of the way and talk about this really good budget knife. So Gonzo sent me a couple knives and this was one of them. I don't like pick and choose what knives they're sending me. They just reached out and said, Hey, we want to send you a couple knives. This was one they sent. And when I first, when I first got it, I was, I didn't know how I felt about it. And then I carried it for a couple days and I really started to like it. This is a really nicely done D2 Warren Cliff, um, which is a great, great blade shape. It came very, very sharp. None of the Gonzo knives have ever shipped to me dull. It's got a black PVD coat on it. It has got a kind of Goldilocks zone, not too thick, not too thin behind the edge pattern, which means it's a little bit more robust, but it still slices really well. I have done a lot of cutting with this, and I actually let a friend borrow it to tell me how, what he thought of it, and he absolutely loved it. It's probably going to him when we're done. This is done in a flipper only. And the access to the flipper, the flipper tab feels really good. It's a great position. I, I absolutely love this. It's one of the things I fell in love with about this knife. Your handles ramp down and just put you in a perfect position to just nail that flipper tab and get it to deploy. When you really get on it, it just hammers open. There is no blade play in this, but the action is just shy of just a little shake and it drops home. The cutting on this was really good because it's got a very straight profile, so you can get way up on the blade. So it curves here, but then the blade and handle marry up nice and straight. A little bit of drop on that, and it allows you to just get your thumb way up on it and just power into the cut. The Warren Cliff style blade is great for getting up on and cutting around things. If you're breaking down boxes, opening packages, you can restrict your penetration on this with your finger. I know there's going to be some giggles in there. Um, the handles on it, super comfortable with, like I said, that canted look. It has, there is a knife that it definitely has some lines in common with, except for the blade shape. I'll grab that and show you. The QSP Pangolin, another knife that absolutely, I love the way it feels in hand. And as you can see, very similar. This one's just a little bit smaller, different blade, but another great, great knife that is not that expensive, but it feels so good in hand. So, this thing, it just cuts like a champ. There are no real hot spots. It's got a nice deep carry pocket clip that doesn't sit too deep. So it's a deep carry style pocket clip that doesn't sit too deep. So it feels really good in hand. The positioning on it is just about perfect. You've got a nice backspacer that if you like a lanyard hole, it's built into the backspacer, which is done in G10. So not only is it maintained the clean look of the knife, it it is a little bit cheaper. And then the way the, that the lanyard hole is done 
does it's I don't find it as off putting as other knives. There's a little bit of jimping on the backspace if you like that. There's a little bit of jimping here. Now we'll talk about that later. Um, access to the lock bar is really, really good. When this first came, it did have a slight bit of lock stick. And I don't know over the course of the last, I don't know, two weeks or so, it just kind of went away. Uh, but this has had a lot of carry in use. The uh, handles on this are not too deeply sculpted here where you have access to the lock bar. And then they did a really good job of removing a little bit of material, but keeping that edge soft so it doesn't feel sharp. All the black and hardware looks really good. It's a good look on this knife. And then you do have a reversible pocket clip. And for a budget, budget knife, they've given you a spacer. So it's companies that are doing this, that that are like, oh, well, it just costs more. This is a $46 knife. You're having your stuff done offshore. You can get that little piece milled and put in there. So it protects the holes and it gives it a cleaner look. You don't get dirt and grunk and stuff down in there. So now, great, great knife. There are a couple of small, oh, I wanted to mention the swedge, the way they ground the swedge into this. So this sweeps down and then you have that swedge, just a nice little look on that, the facets. And the finish for as much cutting as I've done has held up really, really good. So like I always say, there are some negatives on this. It is a budget knife. You're going to have some things that just aren't as great as you would like. So let's turn this around, talk about some of the negative stuff right after you hear from this video sponsor. Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees? They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're going to find. So one thing that I had on my list that I forgot to mention, I love how they recessed the liners. There's only a couple spots where you see the liners, you see it there and there, which is kind of cool. It gives you a little pop. Um, so a couple little negative things. Uh, they put some jimping on here, but it can get slippery. This is not the greatest jimping. And then you've got this jimping here, not also not great. You could have done without the jimping here because it's just, it's not functional really. And the thing is when you flip it, you can feel that it's not aggressive or sharp or anything. It just feels weird. It's a tactile thing for me. Uh, next thing, like I said, it did come with lock stick. So I have to throw that out. It, ha it had a little bit of lock stick when it first came. And the lockup is about 50%. So, you know, it's a $46 knife. I'm not expecting anything, you know, super, super over the top, but that means that you're going to, you're losing a little bit on the life of this knife. You're right at about 50%. If the lockup was a little bit earlier, I think you would have more life in this knife. Um, the other thing, D2. This the D2 on this is really good, but D2 is a steel that not everybody likes. And the final thing is there are a couple little sharp corners. There's not much in the way of hot spots, but you can kind of feel it when you're manipulating the knife. Uh, I may, if uh, before I give this to my friend, take a file and just knock the hard edge off of that. Um, but overall, if you're looking for a good, decent budget knife that has this kind of profile, this would absolutely be one I would recommend. I'll put a link to this down below. Big shout out. To, I, I love the fact that Firebird has been sending these to me. And I do have to say the knives they've sent me have all been winners. I have not gotten a bad knife from them. So I do know that there's some people that don't like the Ganzo stuff. I find it to be on the on that on the line of where you're getting into cheap knives that are still done incredibly well on a budget. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. There you go guys. Uh, you really can't go wrong with these. If you're looking for a good budget knife that is just going to, you know, not necessarily something that you're going to be passing down to your kids, but something that's going to get the job done and keep doing it for a while. It's a good, good knife. Um, there's a handful of knives they've sent me. It's been like three, three or four now that I've done and some of the stuff that Jerry did. I'm glad I gave the brand a second chance. So uh, yeah, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But tell me why I can't change content. If you don't, tell me what you don't like. You want to support the channel. Sponsors, Coffee Brand Coffee, Temper Trail, Doll Strong Knives. They're down below. I know I threw an ad in probably for Coffee Brand Coffee uh, since I'm wearing the shirt. Um, but Coffee Brand Coffee and Temper Trail have a discount built into their link. You can also use coupon code Crazy Sharp all one word, at Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail, Rosecraft Blades, and FireandForgeKnifeworks.com. 
You can take my Amazon store link that's down below, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you're going to do. If you are going to buy knives, absolutely check out my affiliate links that are down below where I've got a bunch of different vendors, Blade HQ, Knife Ship Free, GP Knives, all the big ticket ones down there. You can also join my membership if you want to support the channel. There's a bunch of benefits everyone is everyone gets. There's a private Discord server, exclusive content. Uh, some of the tiers get entered into giveaways that I do, and the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. Plus, we just have a lot of fun on the Gilded server. I also have built a public Discord that's available for everyone. There's a link to that down below. Join it, have fun, hang out, just chat with people. And I'm going to put up a video over here that I think YouTube will think you're going to like, and I will put up a video over here leading you to this knife video. So, that's it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.